This is a question from AQA A-Level Chemistry. It is a required practical question from paper three and it is based on RPA 10. I'm going to recommend that you pause, have a go and then review when you are done. So the entire question is on screen at the moment. And now we're going to start working our way through answering the question. So salicylic acid can be used to make aspirin. Before using a sample of salicylic acid, a student purified it by recrystallization. The method is outlined below. We dissolve the sample in a minimum volume of hot water. It's then filtered hot. It's then cooled in ice. The solutions, the crystals are then collected by filtration, washed with cold water and left to dry. So we need to explain why we're doing each of these points. Going to start with a couple to begin with. Why are we using minimum volume and why are we using hot water? We can actually answer with either one of these and in fact a third. So to ensure the maximum dissolving or a saturated solution. So hot water more will dissolve in it. Now that will also, looking at the bottom point, allow for greater crystallization as it cools down. We will produce more crystals. And fitting in with that, if it's meaning more will crystallize, that will then increase the yield or reduce the amount that will be in solution in the end. So you can pick any two of those three in any place for these top two answers. If we move on to why do we filter it hot? Well, if we filter it cold, the minute that your solution touches the paper in a cold funnel, it might start to recrystallize and we're not going to get it going through so that we can evaporate it later. So we are filtering hot to remove solid impure, insoluble impurities, but we're then cooling in ice because we want to maximize the amount of crystals formed. Why do we then wash it with cold water? Because we want to get rid of any soluble impurities. And that takes us to the end of this question. Thank you for listening and goodbye.